Hi, my name is Luis Lo. Today, I'm going to share with you about a painting in our house or even in our office. Many of you raise a question about the painting. What sort of painting is good in terms of feng shui? My answer is very simple. As long as the painting looks harmony, then it's good in feng shui. So what is considered harmony? Some of the Western abstract painting looks like the blood spreading on the paper, which is very inauspicious. We should avoid that sort of painting. Normally, the good painting we consider looks harmony, like for example, the flower, you know, the fruits, or harvest, or any Chinese painting which looks harmony. So it is pretty simple. As long as you like it, it looks good. On top of that, it has to suit to your personality like for example we are doing feng shui business so as you can see this is a taiji fish this got nothing to do with religion but just a taiji symbol the taiji symbol itself is suit to our feng shui industry another example is like my painting behind my seat is a dragon this suits my industry as feng shui consultant not necessary to have dragon because our company name called long yan feng shui the home of dragon that is why we have a dragon painting so this is what we call suitable just imagine if you were to put a taiji symbol in your clinic or if you were to put a bagua painting in your law firm may looks very awkward so that is what we call not suitable but will not cause much impact we call this not suitable from from there i guess you may have some idea on how to select a good painting I hope my sharing today can give you some tips on how to select a good painting. Feng Shui tips and wisdom brought to you by Louis Lo. I will see you in next episode.